everyone, welcome back to my channel, Miss Pretty Plants. My name is Preeti and I garden here in Toronto in Zone 6 and I wanted to um, take you along with me today as I am uh, winter sowing some more seeds, uh, some more flower seeds uh, for this season, this upcoming season and I'm really excited to share with you the flowers that I am winter sowing. Um, I recently shared with you a seed order that I placed um, and um, went through details of the flowers that I was able to order and uh, they are all so beautiful and I'm really excited to get started on some of them because I feel like winter sowing is going to be the most easy and convenient method for me to start these flowers and um, and really requires less uh, less from me uh, once I have it set up. So if you want to learn more about winter sewing, I will uh, put a link to a card above where I talk about step-by-step -step on how to do winter sewing. But in this video, what I'm going to show you is, um, is, is the seeds that I am winter sewing today and uh, maybe also show you some of the containers that I'm using to do winter sewing. Um, really easy to find things that you can recycle in your house. I've been actually saving some juice, some more juice boxes and distilled water um, containers and uh, soda bottles. So you can use anything that you have um, lying around in your house. Um, and um, it's just as easy to use that and get started um, with this uh, the sewing, sewing technique. So if you... Um, are able to find uh, things from the dollar store that you can use for winter sewing and maybe you can save them and use them over and over again um, that is also a great option um, and which is exactly what I also did because um, I wasn't able to find everything that I needed uh, at home because I've been like trying forever to save all these containers um, but we don't drink a lot of juice uh, or uh, buy a lot of water. The only time I buy these big containers is if I am buying distilled water for um, a machine that consumes it. So I, I just do not do not have a lot of this stuff lying around. So I was only able to get one of this. Um, so I ended up actually going to uh, the dollar store and looking for options. Uh, they did have a lot of seed trays, but I felt like they weren't deep enough. They were like probably two inches of that deep. And and the whole idea about winter sowing is that you let the plants grow um, in the same container till you're ready to put them in your landscape. So I wanted to have at least four inches of soil, uh, four to five inches of soil so that the roots can get uh, developed stronger. So that was the whole intention behind me buying these containers and I will share with you the containers that I was able to find. Um, it, it, it was just easier for me to um, to to kind of, like there was a lot of like uh, things that I looked at and uh, honestly you could even use an aluminum tray with like a big uh, dome you know the one that you the depot ones that have those plastic covers like that was also an option that I was trying to look for but the dollar store that I went to did not have those so so as I was looking around I actually found uh, I will show you I found these containers here um, that I really liked. Uh, they are deep. I think they are about, uh, I would say, eight inches deep at least. Um, and uh, this would be a perfect, a perfect one to use for winter sewing because they are quite deep. Um, and uh, they they also come with the, these lids, um, these blue transparent lids. So uh, easy for me to contain, like close it and poke holes to them. And they're quite thin, so they're not very very thick plastic. So it's almost like your um, your takeout, uh, you know, those Rubbermaid uh, containers, uh, the Ziploc containers that you know. I think they will last a long time. I could probably reuse them for other things. Um, and uh, the the only thing is that um, having all these things available and prepped is was my biggest challenge in in winter sewing. But now that I I have all these uh, containers, I know that I can reuse them for a few years till they break down. And 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 uh, as and when I will save some of these distilled water bottles because these I found were the best ones. They were the right size the right depth and just everything about this was really good. So 
so i think i will save more of these in the future but for now i have some of these containers and i have seeds that i want to show you that um that i will be winter sowing today and uh like I said, I'm not going to go through step-by-step -step instructions on how I am winter sowing, but uh, the uh, only thing I will tell you is that um, have everything ready and prepped so that once you start the process, it is, it is fairly quick and easy for you to get through uh, everything that you are uh, trying to winter sow, and it kind of becomes like a almost like an assembly line and uh and it's easy to to get it all done within within an hour or so and and you're and then you just don't have to worry about it and they are going to take care of themselves um and uh that's about it so without further delay i'm going to show you uh the seeds that i am winter sowing and um and uh and then once i am done uh i will show you uh where i'm placing them in my backyard Here are all the seeds that i am planning to winter sow today so the first one is this uh selfie glosses so this is a, a one that i recently ordered from baker creek that i want to sow today and i will be probably sowing some of them and uh maybe try some of them just normal sowing later on in the season um the other one that I am winter sowing is Black Eyed Susan Wine. This is the Blushing Susie. Um, the, the other one that I want to winter sow is uh, this uh, Four O'Clock Seeds. These are Marvel of Peru and these are the Marbles Mixed. Um, and then I'm also going to sow some Cosmos. So this is the Seashells one. Um, I'm also going to uh, sow some Love in a Mist. Uh, Miss J Jekyll mix. So this one is a Nigella. Nigella. So this is the one I'm also going to sow. Um, and then I'm going to also sow some Fama Deep Blue Scabiosa. Um, these, I think, have about uh, 50 seeds in here. So I might sow a few of them. Um, and then I also have the this packet from last season that I didn't get around to 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 using. This is a straw flower uh, mixed... Um, straw flowers so these are annuals but uh, i think these these will do okay with winter sowing i just want to try it out and see if this works um and the other one that i want to try a few of is this nasturtium tip top rose i'm going to sow a few of these uh, and see if this works for nasturtiums uh, because they do sub seed um, sometimes in your garden and uh, they come back so i think they are pretty hardy as well so i'm going to give it a try this one and then I also have a peach melba nasturtium as well, which I will also try winter sowing. And then I also will be winter sowing the verbena bonariensis. So this one um, has about 100 seeds. I think I will probably do a few and then do a few directly uh, when the weather warms up or I might start them indoors. Um, but I, I kind of want to try avoiding that because uh, it's just so much easier to use this technique and and I'm hoping that it works for this one um, as well. Um, and then the other one is uh, Lavatera. So this one is the Twin Hot Pink. So this is also one that I'm going to try winter sewing. Um, and I also have like in this bowl here, I also have like a seeds from uh, Cleome. So this, this one I was in... Um, in Quebec last summer and there was Cleome everywhere and I picked a bunch of seeds and I am going to actually try these out so if you look at it there's tons of seeds in these pods and I actually collected a lot of seeds while I was there and I'm, I want to kind of use use these seeds um, as well so they almost look like poppy seeds um, and there's ton of them in, in here um, and then I also have some lupin seeds that a friend of mine gave me and I will st start some of these as well um, through winter sowing. So that's everything that I plan to winter sow today. It's a lot of seeds. I think it's about um, 13 or so uh, seeds and I have enough uh, containers here that I can... I can use I have about 10 of these and I have some other ones there so I think I'm all set to uh, to to do this so I'm going to start uh, start with this process and I will show you maybe one of them what I'm doing and then um, and then uh, you would just follow this if you need step-by-step -step instructions please look at my previous video it has detailed step-by-step -step instructions 
on how I cut it, uh, what type of drainage it needs, and um, and and what you need to do um, for uh, each of the containers. So, so that's it. I will uh, put these. I will sew these, and I will try to take you along um, as much as I can. But I, it's it's a lot of assembly work, so I don't want to. Um, to to kind of show you each one of them it doesn't i mean it's all going to be the same but i will show you one of them as i go along as i wanted to show you um the first um uh container that i have prepped so i'm using these plastic containers that i picked up from the dollar store and uh, i've kind of made a hole at the bottom of this one actually it was more than a hole and actually when i started making holes it kind of slit, made a big slit at the bottom, which is fine. I tested it with water. Uh, it allows for water to kind of go through and I think it'll be okay. So, so as you can see, I've filled it with soil and I've just done like about a little less than half. Um, it has a good depth of soil and that's what I wanted. And I'm going to actually use this one and, and literally just uh, cover it when I'm done. Um, and I, as you can see, I have labels ready for all of these seeds and that's a really good idea to have them prepped and ready before you start this so that once you go through this process and you have a bowl of kind of moist soil, um, then you can just kind of create an assembly line and keep going and, and finish this process fairly quickly. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to go through all of these seeds and um, and in the, each individual container and I'm going to keep on going and planting um, in these containers and I will show you when I'm all done. So here are all the containers um, that I have uh, done uh, winter sowing, the seeds that I just showed you. Uh, I've placed them outside. It's on top of a table that's mounted with snow and I know I'll probably have to keep an eye on this as the snow melts so that the uh, boxes don't topple and if it gets windy what's going to happen. So I'm a little bit concerned about where to place them right now because uh, everything is really filled with snow and I don't have a flat surface where I could place them for now but uh, for now they are kind of nestled in the snow and it's okay they're probably going to get buried in all the extra snow that we're getting. Um, I'm going to see if I can find another placement for them uh, before I um, head back inside but I just wanted to show you um, that they are uh, planted they're kind of uh, prepared and uh, the seeds are in the containers and uh, they are good to go so the other thing I might do is I might actually put some tape on these lids uh, so that they don't open accidentally if they fall uh, so that's something I'm going to do before I head back in and uh, that's it that's all I wanted to show you and share with you today and take you along as I was uh, doing the winter sewing um, Hope you guys yeah. enjoyed this video. I have certainly enjoyed uh, making this video and taking you along and showing you uh, the process. And it's been a really uh, fun thing for me to experiment. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that a lot of these plants will be successful in the spring because if a lot of this works, then I just want this to be my primary method of uh, sowing seeds. And I really enjoyed this process. Um, and mostly because also it gives me something to do in the winter as I, I, I am dreaming of my garden right now and <clears throat> there isn't much to do. It gives me something to do and look forward to. So really enjoyed doing that. And uh, with that, I wanted to thank you for watching this video. And please do subscribe to my channel if you aren't a subscriber already and you're interested in gardening and uh, videos from me. Um, I mean, I am a home gardener and I'm learning along with you and I... And I just feel like uh, it's a really um, nice uh, way for me to share whatever I am doing and learning uh, with all of you. So I hope everyone has a fabulous day wherever you are in whichever part of the world you're joining me from. And I deeply am grateful for whoever is subscribed and um, please hit the like button and, uh, and let me know if you like this video and uh, more to come from me in the future videos. Thank you so much for watching.